Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems, and I just have a few minutes to show you my top five favorite new things about Adobe Creative Suite 5, Flash, and Dreamweaver. So let's start off with Dreamweaver CS5, and I'm not much of a web guy, but I certainly can get into the new features inside of both of these applications because they continue to make it easier for people like me that are just getting started to do this kind of work. Now, I do have a regular tech blog that I update every day, and I usually have to hand off the design of that blog to other people because I, I'm not a coder. So here's what we're doing. We're, we're connected to my blog on the actual web server, and I'm looking at the index page. Well, it's not much of a page because blogs are dynamically loaded from a database. So all I'm looking at is just a few lines of code for WordPress that really don't build anything when I go to preview it. But now inside of InDesign CS5, when I hit the live view, what it will do is it will go out to the server and start rendering all of the components and the database information right inside of Dreamweaver. So as I make changes to my dynamic pages, I'll be able to actually preview them and interact with them just as if I had done it locally on my machine. And again, this is a dynamically generated page that I'm now easily able to live view and inspect right here inside of Dreamweaver. I can get to the code, I can get to everything I need to do as if I had you know, run this database myself on my own machine. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop over to another page here. And in this case, I've got a web page built but I kind of want to see what it would look like in different browsers. Well, instead of me having all of these different machines loaded, you know, Windows and Mac and Safari and Netscape, and well, not Netscape, but Internet Explorer and, and Mozilla and all these different browsers out, I can now preview this in the brand new Creative Suite uh, Live or CS Live services. One of those is Browser Lab. So I can say preview in Browser Lab, and what that will do is that will pop me out here. We'll do it over here. We'll say preview in, there we go, preview uh, the local file in Adobe Browser Lab. And then what that will do is we'll pop over to the browser here. And in the browser, I've actually got this page loaded up. So now what it'll allow me to do is go in and choose which, not only which way I want to view it, but more importantly, which browsers I want to view it with. I can pick between a ton of different browsers and operating systems. So if I wanted to see that what this would look like in the older Safari uh, OS 10 th uh, version 3 versus what it would look like in Internet Explorer 6 on Windows XP versus what it would look like in Firefox on OS 10, I can really start to look at my content, test it, and make sure it all works inside of the browser of my choice. And also I get to uh, see it in a two-up view. Maybe I want to compare any differences, and more importantly, I get to see it in an onion skin view, where it kind of overlaps and shows me just how much is shifting or changing between the various browsers. So Browser Lab is not new, but the integration inside of Dreamweaver is. Now let's pop over to Flash CS5, and here what I'm going to do is First of all, I'll take a look at this uh, layout, which if you saw my InDesign video, you know this was one of the spreads inside of InDesign. Well, it came right over as a Flash professional document. And let's go ahead and zoom in on it just a little bit here. And when we zoom in, we can see that we got the same text from InDesign, but more importantly, now inside of Flash CS5, we brought over the same text engine. So I get the same dynamic ability to go in and control my text linking and placement just like I do now inside of um, InDesign. So we can go ahead and continue this text. We'll scroll down, we can find a new spot to continue that text in, and it will flow the text from frame to frame, just like it does inside of InDesign CS5. All right, so next let's pop over to uh, this document. This is kind of fun where we've got this animation on the timeline here, and as we uh, scrub it, we can see that the signs will come to a complete stop. However, in the real world, if there were, you know, if there was any flexibility whatsoever, we would actually see those signs fluctuate when they stopped. So let's go ahead and click on this one sign. We have the uh, bone tool that we had in CS4, but now we have, um, we have these inverse kinetics that allow me to go in and control what it would look like if it were actually going to bounce. So let's go ahead and set this uh, to a strength of 80. 
and a dampening of 50. And we can go ahead and set the other one to maybe a strength of 90. Here, let's do this one. We'll set this one to a strength of 90 and a dampening of 20, just to see what we get. So we'll set our timeline back to the beginning. And now when we hit play, we'll hit play, there we go. These signs will bounce and continue to wobble and start to slow down based on the settings that we set for the bone. Very, very cool to be able to do that. Now, the last thing I want to show you here, my fifth thing, my top five things inside of uh, the Creative Suite 5 for Flash and Dreamweaver, we have this application built. And this is actually giving me the ability to now publish this. If I go to my publish settings, I can publish it out to Flash, obviously. But more importantly, now I can publish it out as an iPhone application. That's right. If you know how to build a Flash application, you can now put an application out that you can actually submit to the Apple App Store and have it run on an iPhone, iPod Touch, or even an iPad. So with that said, I know you don't believe me, so let's pop over to a browser or to a video here where I've got that exact application now running in a video on an iPhone that he's actually tapping and going through. And there are actually over a hundred iPhone apps on the App Store today that were created as Flash applications. So you create it in Flash, it exported out as the Objective-C code as an IPA file that's legitimate and can be on the App Store immediately. So you get the idea, you submit it, you, you still have to be an iPhone developer to do it, but now you can write your applications in the tool you already know how to use. So those are my top five favorite things about Flash and Dreamweaver CS5. Uh, more to see, head over to my website, Adobe TV, all of these various sites to go ahead and check out for this content. Thanks for watching.